From Varanasi, we return to Delhi, where we go for a holiday trip before leaving for Sydney. The first stop is Kutub Minar. The minaret is surrounded by various monuments and structures, all of which are part of the Kutub complex. Most of them were erected in the 12th and 13th century, and what remains of them today are ruins. For example, the Jain Temple or the Kutub Mosque, also known as the Great Mosque of Delhi. Built at the end of the 12th century, it was the first ever mosque in Delhi. Seven meters in height and six tons in weight, the iron pillar was cast in the 4th century and until today it remains one of the most intriguing metallurgical curiosities. Kutub Minar itself is the tallest masonry minaret in the world. Its construction started in 1193. This building measures 73 meters in height and has five stories. Its diameter changes from over 14 meters at the base to just below 3 meters at the top. It also features an internal spiral staircase with 379 steps. Alai Darwaza, the magnificent gateway to the complex, stands not far from Kutub Minar. It was built by the first Sultan of Delhi. Alai Minar was meant to be twice the height of Kutub Minar. One of the sultans of Delhi started the construction of this minaret. However, it was swiftly stopped after the death of the sultan, after completing only one story. The remnants of this never-finished structure still stand here for everyone to admire.